Got something that might interest you. <laughs> um, sorry about that. So here we have Resident Evil 4. Uh, review build. It is what it says in the tin, really. Um, I suppose I'll start the story at the beginning. I was on eBay a few weeks ago, uh, as, as you do, and I saw somebody listing this. And they had a few pictures of uh, gameplay, and it looked like the normal, the normal build. And usually review builds I ignore because they're ninety-nine percent of the time they're just the retail game on a non-retail desk. They're not anything important really. But it's very rare that I see Resident Evil Four builds of any kind show up, so it drew my attention, and I messaged the seller and I said, "Hey, can you send me a picture?" of what the file layout looks like. Just put the disc in a PC and show me what the files look like. So they did that. And right away I knew that something was wrong. In the best way possible. For a little bit of context here, uh, the retail game, the executable, is th about three megabytes big. It's, it's, it's not very large, but that's just you know how big the uh, executable file is for the a lot of these games of the era. Well, this build in particular has an executable that is 36 megabytes big. So as soon as I saw that, I thought, okay, hold on, there's some there's some juicy stuff in this build. And uh, that was enough for me to, to bid on it, and I won it. And it was, uh, you know, it was a lot of money, as these things are. Um, but it is, as I mean... I don't know how I'm being so coy. I mean, in the title, you you know, it's a debug build, and um, I'll show you that. So, another thing, uh, the when you boot the game up, you are greeted with the language selection screen. Now, this was listed as being an NTSC build, the American version. Well, I knew that couldn't be right because the American version doesn't have a language selection screen. Um, it also doesn't have the 50 or 60 hertz. Uh, refresh rate option. It also doesn't have the easy mode, which this build has. So whether this is some sort of proto-American release, or whether this is some sort of all regions build, or European one, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you boot it up, it looks fairly inconspicuous. Anybody who would be just taking pictures of this online would think that it was the retail build. But I've messed around with enough debug builds of Resident Evil games to know a lot of the button combinations. So I pressed all the triggers and and the bumpers, and sure enough, just like that, there's a debug menu, which is which is great. It's not the first time that a debug build of RE4 has shown up. There's a GameCube build that uh, was released a few years ago, although that one was the... Because the GameCube version was on two discs, for some reason only disc one was ever released, so you get half of the game with debug mode, the other one doesn't exist. Um, there's also a PC debug build that leaked on Steam. Um, I don't know how many features it has, but it's out there. But it's quite cool to have a another build exist. This is, to my knowledge, the only RE4 PS2 debug build to be released as of now. Um, it's certainly not the only PS2 debug build out there. In fact, there is a, a Resident Evil 4 collector on YouTube um, by the name of Tyrant REB, who has a shitload of RE4 builds. None of them will ever be released because that's just not the kind of thing that he does, unfortunately. But he has footage of a PS2 debug build, and I was able to find out the file dates of his build through um, a little bit at the bottom of the screen and his file dates are the 30th of June 2005. Final game file dates is um, I think the 21st of September 2005. This is the 29th of August. So this is a month earlier than retail but not quite as early as the other guy's build but again Beggars can't be choosers when you come to stuff like this. I think it's pretty bloody cool. So um, let's get into some proper gameplay and you can stop looking at my hands and this desk.
So, here we have the game. This, just for full transparency, is on an emulator. Ideally, I would be, I would be playing this on the real hardware, but um, it's just so much easier to fire up a PS2 emulator. Um, and it works just as well, you know. So that's, as I was saying before, the uh, language and 50 or 60 hertz selection is a unique remnant of the uh, European version. And here's the main menu. Now, when I first booted this up, I uh, I did the right thing and I pressed all the bumpers and triggers and I got this. So, we can't really do much with the debug menu at the moment, we have to get into the game. Resident Evil and then And then we can really play around with it. You can see it's showing you all the stuff it's doing. I'm going to skip the cutscene. It shows you all the files it's reading at any given time. Which is pretty handy. Those lines at the very top left, they show which buttons I'm pressing. Which is, which is uh, pretty cool. But yeah, if I press L2 and select, we get the tool menu. Which may be familiar if you've messed around with RE4 debug builds before. We can get, have area jump, or we can go to a whole bunch of different areas, like the castle. So I've just jumped straight into this part of the game. Obviously, I'm still starter Leon, so there's no Ashley. I still have the jacket. I have hardly anything in my inventory, so I might struggle, but because we have the tool menu, I can go to debug option, player, flag edit, infinite bullets, um, no death. I don't know what a lot of this other stuff is. Um, position, I can I can move where Leon is. Um, pressing L1 seems to make him do that. I don't know if I can edit his um, like Y axis or not. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, camera. Oops. Of course, because it's Japanese, you have to do circle to select. We have the camera here, where we can go up. It, it It's very strange, because the left stick is looking around. The right stick is up and down and left and right, and R1 and L1 are forward and back. So it operates very... And of course, it's, like, inverted and weird. My brain struggles to understand it, but it does work, and you can move around and examine stuff. Exit that. Uh, what else is there? There's there's a lot of options here. Some of them don't seem to work. Um, we can go to another area because this one's quite boring. Let's go back to the start. I like the first level. That one's quite uh, that one's quite dull. There are not, as far as I can see, any like test rooms or anything like that in this build. Um, what's, I'm trying to remember which ones crashed the game and which ones didn't. Communication screen, I think we can play any kind of uh, comm sequence. I think. How the hell do you do this? Oh, here we go. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. So yeah, you can play those any any time you want. Um, there's also a movie test option, which, uh, of course, the PS2 version had pre-rendered videos, so you can play all of the... 
All the videos. Got her involved just for that? Let's skip that one. So even the uh, Ada ones in here. In fact, that's a Simon Ada. I think. I think the separate ways ones you actually have to be in separate ways to get access to them. I think. Uh, debug page. Nope, that's not the one I want. There's an option to unlock everything. New game. Extra. We can turn on all these extra things. I think these unlock like mercenaries, characters, and things like that. I'm just gonna turn all these on and hope that something happens. So I think if I go back to the main menu, it might have unlocked that stuff. We'll see. It has. So now the now the game acts as if I've beaten it. And I have professional mode available right there. Um, we have separate ways, assignment Ada and everything. Uh, we've got mercenaries mode with all the characters unlocked, just like that. Looks a bit boring without the de debug mode. There we go. Um, movie browser. Cutscenes for all the parts of the game. Separate ways, I suppose we can boot that up. I've taken on this mission. Okay, we don't need to hear it either. I should also state as well, um, the game is currently running in software rendering mode, which means that it basically matches the resolution of the PS2 version, I believe. So it doesn't look very uh, high res. But that's to avoid any kind of potential visual glitches that you get from running the game at a much higher resolution on the PS2 build. So I believe <clears throat> one thing that I can maybe do here... Oops. In this sequence, you can see Leon running back and forth sometimes. I want to get, I want to get a look at him. I think if I run up here, collect these things, and if I run back, oh, there he is. Okay, hold on. Uh, camera. Oh shit! I keep forgetting it's the other way around. We can possibly see Leon. This camera is insane to try and control. There's Leon with. Uh, what the hell is wrong with his hair? You see that? Is that his face texture on his hair? And it's on his hands as well. Hold on. Yeah, that's his, that's his face texture. Hold on, you'll, you'll see it clearer if I, uh... Oh, maybe that's clearer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's like that in the normal build or not, but... Yeah, his, uh... His head texture is just everything. That's very disturbing. Turn back on software rendering. I wonder if I can... Uh... Okay, hold on. Bear with me here, everybody, because I am, I am, I'm struggling my way through this menu. No, I fucked it up. Hold on. 
I'll see him again in a second. Hold on. It's the worst with with the controls and the fact that it's the Japanese confirmation. So circle is accept and X is no, which is backwards to the way that my brain works. But let's see if we can do it again. Because I think there should be an option to like. Um, there he is. Right. Okay. Debug. I keep pressing the wrong fucking thing. Debug option. Um, we can turn on inf infinite health and infinite ammo. Position move. Here we go. Slowly. What the hell? I'm stuck on something. I can't move. Yep, there we go. Nope. Nope. I can't I can't move further than this for some reason. Flag edit. <laughs> Bear with me. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the fucking button combinations. I've got infinite health now, which is nice. And infinite ammo. But yeah, we can go to the, um... Movie test. Should, I think, does it have Ada's cutscenes? Hey, what's the matter? Did you lose your nerve? No. Okay. Light tool. Okay. I'm just testing stuff here. Fog. Oh my god. No fog. Light? Holy shit. Um, we can turn on and off different light sources. That's cool. This is, this is quite a lot. Ambient lighting. We can adjust the RGB values. I mean, you yeah, there's a lot here. I wonder if the sound... Sound test. Hold on. Um, I can't get out of here now. I'm gonna reset it. Okay, we're back. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention earlier on was the um, the build date at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, 2005-09-01. That's the 1st of September. For some reason, like, earlier on I, I I mentioned that the build date was in August. It is, but for some reason the actual in-game date is a couple days ahead. So I don't really know what that's about. Resident Evil 4. Let's try professional mode. Because one thing we can also do, um as well as messing around with uh, the camera and things like that, we can also uh, not only jump to the levels that Leon is meant to be in, but we can jump to the levels that, um, that Ada is meant to be in. I pressed the wrong button. God damn it. Okay, we're back. Yeah, the, the stage I meant to go to was uh, was this one which is the beginning of Ada's campaign. And we can go there as Leon. And... The only reason... Completely break... the fucking game. So here we are. Now there's two Leons on screen. Or, well, there was for a second. He was over there. The the deep, of course, I don't think I can fully... Um, 
L2 and slide. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is a. Oh, there's Ashley. What? Um. Okay, <laughs> I was not expecting this area. Main hall, Roka, bedroom, gallery room. Is this like some of Leon's areas mixed in with hers? Capsule. Is this the one that Ashley goes into? It is. Oh shit! Oh, we're doing the Saddler boss fight as Leon, okay. Give me a second here, while I uh, turn on the necessary options to... Because I'm on... <laughs> I'm on fucking professional difficulty. <laughs> I think... Hmm. Selecting weapon just makes me go invisible for a second. I think that there is also a way to edit your inventory. But I am not 100% sure how to... What the fuck is all this stuff? I... Okay, I don't know. There's a... There's a, uh... there's a lot going on here. What the hell did I just pick? I just restarted the level. Okay. Sad. Hold on, Sadler's missing now. Hold on, I'm breaking shit. Hold on. Oh, oh. I'm totally breaking this fucking game. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, hold on. If I go back a room. If I go back a room and then forward, he might respawn. Wait, will this be the Krauser boss fight? It is. He's not here either. Oh, I know what I did. That's meant to be... Oh, fucking hell. Okay, hold on. This is the enemy list. So I, I, I totally fucking botched this. Load. Old? Stage... Th uh, this one? List. This is empty. What the fuck is this? There's like an old crosshair thing on the screen. Is this for like selecting enemy types? Sort list. Yes. Load. This one. Exit. Yep. I... <laughs> I done gone and broke the fucking game. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Hold on. We're gonna restart. <laughs> Again. Okay, let, let, let's try this again. So there's Krauser. I, uh, I need to turn back on infinite health. <laughs> okay, so if I go to enemy list, I think that's enemy list. Oh, wait a minute. So this is, yeah. The Ada one. List. What's this? What does this let me change? Nothing. Do you save? No. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that doesn't work the way I thought it worked. Or maybe I'm just being really fucking stupid. The, uh, there, there should be a... event tool. Nope. 
Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Cons to file not found. Okay. Yeah, there's some stuff that's going to be missing because uh, obvious things. Message test. Message. Ah, uh, very appropriate. Okay. Type. Core. Message. Zoom. Oh, this is all the messages in the game. Begin a new game with a clear file, you receive the PRL 412 absolutely free. I can't select 184, I think. Change control settings. It's locked. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my shit pushed in. Block area tool. EM info. Nope, can't do that either. Bug check tool. Yep. Uh, I I don't know. I'm not found for that either. We're get this is the worst. Why am I doing this in the middle of a fucking boss fight? <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. ESP tool, nope, not found. MOT viewer, nope. INT design, nope. Floor Atari. All of these things are unusable. I already tried. Item set tool. Oh! Okay, hold on. File write error. L server or local? Huh. The server was on an X drive. Um. I did, yeah. Don't load. Preview. Well, the frame rate's having a tough time here. So the what? So the game, the game world is like frozen for some reason. And frame rate's kind of having a tough time at the moment. Um, item set. Okay, I don't know what this is. Maybe, maybe you can, like, change items or something? SE Atari edit. Oh, there it is again, server or local. So you can see the root of their server at the time. And then local. Data load okay, yes. Load error. What do you mean load error? Yes. I can't do it. Area edit. Area create. Area move. I don't know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, this back data input weapon interval. What SE number random? Yes, no flag. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, fuck me, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, th there are a lot of options where you can do some stuff. Log viewer, that's just all the messages about everything not being found. Thank fuck I've got infinite health. TPL viewer. Nope. Can't do that one. Uh... Scroll tool. Aha. Uh -huh. Edit. Nope. Light. Edit. Oh, this is the same place I was in before. Map map. Oh, that's like, uh, okay. Blur. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. It's changing something. Fog. 
sky fog. Okay, yep. Path? Oh, good lord. Um, okay, nope. That's too deep for me. Yes. Texture. Well, that's like the... Okay, the game just crashed. So there's a texture viewer as well. Okay. I think I'm going to end it there. There's a lot of options in this debug menu. You can go through, you can have fun with them yourself. The build is available in the description. You can go and download it yourself and mess around with it. Um, I hope you have fun. I hope you do some crazy stuff with it. I hope you're able to find maybe some unused stuff. I don't know, maybe there's more in this build that I'm unaware of. But go have fun and uh, enjoy. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.